Okay, even though Android 9 has barely hit a 15% adoption rate, Android 10 is closer than you'd think, with the first developer preview potentially arriving in March. I've split this video into the things we're pretty sure are going to happen, and then the things that I just think would take it to a whole other level. So, what's more or less confirmed? A system-wide dark mode is coming. Starting from Android 10, or Android Q, every preloaded app will supposedly be dark mode ready. And this is not a small undertaking, as every menu of every app will have to be tweaked, but it will make for a completely new aesthetic and pretty major battery life improvements on phones with OLED screens. To give you an idea, when Google first showed off night mode on the original Pixel, at peak brightness, there was a 63% reduction in power draw. Then you've got screen continuity, which is support for applications extending across multiple or foldable displays, which of course couldn't come sooner. Multi-resume, which is not a new feature in its entirety, but more of an extension of what you've seen from split screen. As it stands, only one app is active at a time, but with Android 10, both can work simultaneously. You could potentially play a game on one half of your screen, whilst also flicking through your Spotify playlist on the other. The fourth thing is a desktop-like experience. Google has actually shown interest in a Samsung DeX-like setup, where you can connect your smartphone to a monitor as a PC replacement. And to be honest, I think this is going to be one of the major areas of improvement in the next few years, with the traditional PC being pretty much reserved for professionals and gamers, and everyone else being able to use their phone. And also, to be expected, are just loads of little quality of life improvements like a new set of emojis, the ability to completely block private numbers and calls from telephone booths, and automatically adding the country code of wherever you are trying to call. So that's the current rumoured feature set, and I will cover these in more detail in future videos, so be sure to subscribe for that, but they are undoubtedly not all we're gonna see, so this is what I would want to happen. Native screen recording. And yet, yeah, some third-party OEMs have already added a screen recording function to their software skins. But if Google built this within Android itself, then it would be available on every device of every budget. If you've ever used Apple's AirDrop, you probably know how magical it is and how there's no real Android replacement. That doesn't need to be the case. Because Google owns both Android and its Chrome browser, which people use on all kinds of devices, it is possible that they could link the two to create a similar tunnel for the seamless transmission of files. Of course, everyone also wants to see improved software updates. Compared to its fruity rival, Android has always had criminally low adoption rates for its new versions. And whilst it is somewhat limited by the foundations it is built on, some of Google's past attempts to get people up to date, like the Android One program, were pretty successful, so more of that. The next thing is the use of the Vulkan API to power the user interface. You might have already heard of Vulkan. It's a framework around which many 3D games are currently being run, and it's much more efficient than the OpenGL it replaces, and better takes advantage of the many CPU cores we're getting with newer phones. And so using the same framework for all elements of the phone would just mean better performance, even on lower-end devices. Now, there is the one issue of naming. The current version of Android is literally just called Pi, which in my books is pretty unimaginative. And as Google is working their way up the alphabet, the next one is Android Q, so there's plenty of chance for an even worse name. I've heard Quality Street as one option, even Queen of Puddings, and some are saying that Google might drop the dessert theme and go for something like Android Quesadilla, or I think even worse than that, Android Quiche. If that was going to be the case, then I would rather they just dropped food entirely and went for something like Android Quartz. What do you think? You can expect the final version to come around August 2019, but plenty more to come between now and then. So stay tuned for that. As always, my name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.